All right, I ran back into Harley. We're gonna try and do this a little bit better. You're a lot. You, you, you were in a bad shape last time I saw you, <laughs> and you look more like Harley right now. Yeah. So, you've had a rough couple months, right? Yes. Um, and I, we made that video yesterday, so I'm, I'm just gonna throw that away, and we'll use this one. Yeah. Okay. Now, a couple people on the Patreon saw it. That's my private site, but that's okay. They're like my really good support, or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, we'll, we won't post that anymore. So, but you've had a rough couple months, right? Right. Now. That last interview we did, you were down to a one little bag of clothing. Everything else was completely stolen, right? Yeah. And... Well, that's... Yeah, that's the interview that you're not putting up. Yeah. But I just want to kind of do a little history, like, a little, you know, so people can yeah. understand. Yeah, this so, is... This is my... All that I own right now. Let me see. <laughs> that's it. And, and you are... And I had, like... 12 or 13 That's what I, of these. I, I was just going to say, you were Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Garbage bag full of freaking clothes and carrying all that stuff around. Yeah, this girl is stolen all of my things and she's wearing them all over. And so, I have, I have on video, because I was driving here looking for you, and I drove around. I went to go pick you up, but it's another girl wearing your clothes. Yeah, that's the girl. Yeah. And you she said she's just like a bully to you, huh? Yeah, she literally loves walking up to me wearing my clothes. I don't even say anything anymore. And today, I told her, I just don't want to fucking talk to you. She's like, what's your problem? I'm like, bro, you're not my fucking friend. She bullies me. And she acts like she's going to, like, beat me up and shit. She's taking all my shoes, all my clothes. Like, I'm not a fighter. Yeah. It pisses me off because I don't spend all my money on drugs. I spend my money on clothing and makeup and shoes. And now she's she spends only her money on fucking drugs. Yeah. And she's now able to, like, walk around in all these nice clothes. And they're dirty. They were bagged up to go to the fucking laundry mat. They're literally dirty clothes. Those, huh? pa those pants. Yeah, I you... peed in a pair of pants. That's the one she was wearing. Yeah. The ones you peed in the other day. Yeah. I know for a fact, though. Yeah. Yeah. And um, not only that, but um, I never wear underwear. Mm. Gross ass bitch. Yeah. So, um, you uh, actually brought up rehab to me and to your mom, but you're still yeah. saying you're not really ready, though. I'm not ready. Okay. But it's good you're talking about but it. But I would like to do, like, an outpatient situation. Like, I would love to... What I want to do is I would like to get a drug and alcohol counselor. You want to get sober on your own terms is what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I did last time. <laughs> yeah. I do everything on my own terms. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it, I get it. And last time I, you know, I did... Like, I, I got clean on my own, and I was clean for three and a half years. Yeah. So you could do it again. Mm -hmm. Um I know your mom would be happy. You know? Yeah, I love her a lot and she's really sad. She's a mess. Uh, I love her too, just from you know, I you know, I've been talking to her a lot off there, you know. It hasn't been that much because I, I couldn't find you for uh, like a month. But, you know, she's she's in a bad shape too now with just uh, how how upset she is, you know. So maybe in the future. I love you, mom. I'm alive and well, and I'll come home at some point soon. Okay. When was the last time you went up to Vermont? When oh, I, I remember. When I left there a year and a half ago. Yeah, okay, I remember. I literally left, like, I'll be back in a day, and I haven't been back. Damn. So they didn't even, like, prepare for you to leave out of their life. Nobody did. No. It was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah. And I guess that's why your mom was so happy when she finally saw that video that I did of you. Yeah. Just because she said she was like, I had no idea where she was. Yeah. So at least that, you know, it, it sucks the position you're in, but at least, you know, she yeah. got to see you alive. Yeah. So, but you are thinking maybe about getting sober. Yeah. Because this is not for you, this life. No. Like, not a day goes by where somebody doesn't say, like, oh, I would wife you up if you weren't doing this, or why are you down here, or you're too pretty for this. Yeah. And, like, it's painful to hear yeah. that. But it's not, even, it's not even your physical. It's, like, you're a good person, like, on the yeah, inside. Yeah, they like, say that, too. Like, yeah. you're, you're way too cool. What are you doing? Yeah. 
Like, I, I fucking, I like talking to you, man. I like, I don't mind, you know. I'm I'm kind of mad we can't chill a little longer today. I, you know, I got to go. But, like, they, they don't realize off air, like, between these interviews, like, all the stuff we, we do, like, go out to eat. And, no, and he, like, out. he, okay. Jeff is really fucking cool and really fucking humble. He doesn't, he's not like these other guys who are, like, throwing it in the face, like, Oh, we're gonna get you a nice hot meal. We're gonna get you a nice hot meal, and then they're like ten dollar budget. Oh yeah. Oh Jeff, yeah. Then someone one of them. Yeah, that, yeah. Like ten dollar budget. Jeff fucking like spends money. Like he'll get me coffee and food and like whatever I need. Anything I ask for, he takes care of. Like when when we're like meeting up for the interviews and stuff. Like yeah. he's a really good person. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I just, it's like we, but, but I'm, don't let it go to your head. No, ma'am, never. No, but what I'm saying is like, I've gotten to know you over, cause like, I mean, I, we hang out on, you know, we'll, we'll meet up and not do an interview at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go out to eat or something. Yeah, or, yeah. Or I'll drive by and you'll flag me down. McDonald's now. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. Yes, I need a Sprite. Yeah. But you know, I, like I said, I like I don't mind doing that. It's you know, I, I like buying. You know, it's and I feel like when you guys come into this car, it's like a little bit of, of peace and quiet and yeah. safety for a while. Sanity, like listening about old serial killers. Yeah. Oh my uh, podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a crazy with that. <laughs> well, I completely got rid of my my TV and everything. That's all I do is listen to podcasts about crazy people. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> but it just keeps me from staying in the house and being lazy. That's yeah. why I do it. Yeah. So, um, it's... Wigs, if anyone wants to send me wigs. Wigs? Okay. I'll see what... Yeah, well, okay. I need them. need wigs? Yeah. Now, um, because you screwed up your head the other day because you were Cause being dope. A dope, right? When so, you nodded out. So, like, this out. face mask. Well, I did, like, a hair mask. And it was supposed to be in your hair for 15 minutes. I fell asleep and woke up, woke up two hours later with my scalp burning. You said a lot of your hair was falling out and stuff, right? Like, it literally washed my hair out. Jeez. Yeah. And and so I finally found you that next day. Yeah. And I, I have a picture from when you fell asleep. I didn't yeah. show it to anyone. I'm going to show yeah. it to you. Yeah. Of what you looked like that day. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, God. It was... I, I, I was... Because I, it was amazing, like, how it seemed like how bad you got in just that but I mean now you, you look better now but yeah. I'm saying that was, I was worried about it's you it's scary how fast you can fall yeah and, then once and you that's fall, the thing about being out here when you fall you can't get back up that's that what easily I was just gonna say yep people aren't, people aren't gonna pick you up and give you money mm -hmm. so that you can get the things that you need yeah so you fall you're not gonna be able to go get that makeup that you need that outfit that you need because nobody's gonna pick you up Right. So you gotta stay up in order to stay up right. in Kensington. Cause like if if no, I mean I'm sure they would have, but like I'm sure. Fucking hell! Now I'm. Oh, let me blow this real quick. Like I'm. I know you don't have problems picking up dates. But I also know that day I saw you, I know a bunch of guys probably drove right by you that day. I could not get a date that day. Yeah. To save my life. Yeah. And so, but you're right though, because like once you're down, like with you, you're a working girl, you need to be presentable. Yeah. But when you're down, you're down. Like that's why like so many people down here look so rough. And it's because like, okay, so say like they have a place to stay, right? But they get locked out and they spill coffee on their pants. And uh, they forgot their makeup in the house, and somebody stole their fucking hairbrush. Okay? That whole day, they're gonna have a hard time, unless they have really good friends, they're gonna have a hard time getting back up. Because nobody lets you go in and take a shower unless you have money to give them. Right. Nobody lets you fucking like use their makeup, use their shit, because they think you're gonna steal it. Yeah. Like, when you fall, you fall hard. Right. And I think a lot of these girls out here would look a lot better if they, like, Got ahead. You have to stay ahead to be ahead here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, I went. I went to the. Like I, I gave you extra money that day just so you could what get a house or yeah. rent the or go into Punk's yeah, house to shower. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like I said, like I'm not trying to like toot my own like, but if if I wasn't here to do that with you to help you, you would have been. I was fucked that day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I don't do anal, and that day I would have been fucked in my ass. <laughs> I mean, it's true though. Like, and and it, that's so important that you that you bring that up. That like once you once you fall, getting back up when you're down here is almost impossible yeah, without it really help. Is. You really know, is. and then it's uh it's sad. But on a positive note, something I'd like to, to um to tell people they should do too is like my other addiction is like these coloring oh, books yeah, yeah, yeah. and it makes me do way less drugs so you're because you're occupied because i'm them? occupied so i um i'm i'll be busy notice my dope bags um i'll be busy like coloring in these zones mm -hmm. and so i'll take like less hits because i'm so focused on like right these like i did these oh that's cool man so, so it's all right. So maybe we can get you some more of these books too. Yeah, anyone who wants to send me adult coloring books, but I only like the really bougie ones. Okay, because you are bougie. All right, we'll see that wigs and the coloring book so far. <laughs> all right, let me get going. All right. Okay. I will. Oh wait, yeah, that's Jess. Um. All right. See you later, Harley.